Alzheimer's disease, the most feared disease among people 55 and older, is a threat that's only growing as America ages. But the outlook for Alzheimer's patients and their families is brighter today than any time before. Medications are now available that have been shown to slow the course of Alzheimer's, and other treatments are on the horizon that could prove even more effective. The place to start treating Alzheimer's before any medication, dietary change, or lifestyle therapy is with a firm diagnosis that a patient's symptoms are actually caused by Alzheimer's and not some other factor. And an early diagnosis creates the very best possibility for new therapies to slow or even stop Alzheimer's. How is this possible? Through the use of PET scanning, a state-of-the-art technology that sees inside the brain better than traditional CAT scans and MRIs. PET scanning stands for positron emission tomography, and it allows us to see through structures in our bodies that can't be seen by traditional scanners. PET scans were already having some success in diagnosing Alzheimer's over the past decade, until a historic breakthrough that represents the best hope in our history to treat and even beat Alzheimer's. Dr. Daniel Silverman and his team at UCLA's Geffen School of Medicine have developed a new analytical software that analyzes 240 individual areas of the brain and weighs their appearance against typical Alzheimer's patterns. It's called NeuroQ and, when utilized with a traditional PET scan, creates a near-exact diagnosis, even in patients with few behavioral symptoms. In 2011, the Mind Genesis Imaging Center in Littleton, Colorado's South Park Medical District began offering the NeuroQ PET scan to patients and their doctors wanting the most reliable diagnoses of Alzheimer's disease. At their new facility, only minutes from downtown Denver and 45 minutes from Denver International Airport, a scan begins with an injection of an isotope tracer embedded in a glucose base that moves through the body and into the brain. The patient is in the scanner for a series of completely painless passes, and the entire procedure lasts about an hour. The test results are then sent immediately to Dr. Silverman and his team of technicians at UCLA, where, using the NeuroQ technology, the results are fully evaluated and a final diagnosis ready within 48 hours. While PET scanning with NeuroQ costs more than an X-ray and may not be fully covered by some insurers, what it delivers is a very certain report, either a confirmation that Alzheimer's isn't a factor or that a patient can begin now to treat the disease and live life to the fullest. Ask your doctor about a PET scan with NeuroQ or visit us on the web for more information about costs and scheduling.